Now the longer cable is going to be used to connect to either the small motor or the medium sized motor. The, the small motor on the left is going to be used for the claw crane and the right hand side, the medium sized motor, is used for the, the camera mount. Now both of these motors have six connectors but we're only going to use four connectors for each one. If we're using the small motor we want to connect it to, we want to connect it to the cable as shown. The motor we want to use the yellow, red, white, and black wires but the orange and the brown will remain unconnected and this is a suggested way to connect it to the the, um, the long cable. So yellow to yellow, red to red, white to green, that's the only mismatch, and then black to black. So let's do that. If you're using the camera module, um, we're going to be using the medium sized motor and we're going to use four out of the six connectors. As you can see there. We're going to use all of them except the middle two red wires. The, the red two wires will remain unused. And this is a su suggestion for connecting it to the cable. Yellow to yellow, orange to red, so there's a mismatch there. Black to black, and blue to green, so there's two mismatched colors. Okay, for this example I'm going to connect the small motor, which is we're going to use for the claw crane to this long uh, cable. So I've already stripped the four conductors on the cable on both sides and for this motor I'm going to cut the connector off if it hasn't been cut off already and then strip um, the yellow, the red, the white, and the black. The orange and the brown we're gonna ignore for now. Then I'll apply some uh, solder to make sure that the connector connections stay put. Now I put the connectors onto the onto the other side of the wire. The order yellow, red, green, black on the connector. So that's all ready to go. Now that we have the connectors on for the motors, we can now test it out on the controller board. So what we have here are the four motors uh, connected to the board and then I've also connected the USB and the 12 volt power supply to the computer and we have the software up and running here. Now if everything is working correctly up here it will say this is the Windows version it says device found attach state equals true and when I hit the up or down buttons the motors should be moving. I'm clicking on motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, that's good, and motor 4. So um, we're in good shape right now and the next step is to put the motors in the robot itself and assemble the robot.